What's up guys, Sal here. So while companies like Samsung are in the third generation of high refresh rate displays and they're even offering 120Hz displays in their mid-range phones, Apple on the other hand is still stuck at 60Hz. To be fair, they were considering 120Hz variable refresh rate panels on the iPhone 12 Pro lineups, but due to the lack of supply of these variable refresh rate panels, I mean Apple sold over 90 million iPhones in the last quarter and Samsung which makes displays for most of the iPhones wasn't able to keep up with supply and demand. So Apple dished the feature on the iPhone 12 Pro. Instead, their upcoming iPhone 13 Pro lineup will have high refresh rate displays. Now here's some crazy news going around the internet that the new iPhones will have 240Hz displays. It originated from the patent that Apple has published recently, which says the handset can operate at a refresh rate that is up to four times the native refresh rate. That is, the iPhone screen natively at 60Hz would be able to increase the rate to 120Hz, 180Hz or 240Hz automatically. The patent says this type of displays can also be used for iPads and the Apple Watch. With that being said, I don't think we're gonna see 240Hz display on the iPhone 13 Pro. In fact, I'm 100% certain that it's not gonna happen. The iPhone 13 Pro lineup will likely stick to 120Hz LTPO panels, the one we have on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. We see companies file patents all the time and only a fraction of them actually goes into the production stage. We're just getting started with 120Hz displays and there's absolutely no need for them to go above this refresh rate considering there's no practical advantage to go over 120Hz refresh rate. Though that might change in the future a few years down the line, but for now, this is just a patent which means nothing. Anyway, only the iPhone 13 Pro lineup this year will get 120Hz displays, regular iPhone 13 and mini will get 60Hz displays instead. Also, all the iPhone 13 will get an always-on display feature, something we're seeing for years on Galaxy phones. I wonder why it took them so long. The magnets on the MagSafe will be stronger this time so that it attaches to the phone much more securely. The reason is of course, as you know, they are removing the charging port from at least one of the iPhone 13 variants, which is ridiculous. I'm sure they will come up with some BS excuse like they did with the iPhone 12, saving the environment and all. But just like the charger, this recession will improve the sales of the MagSafe chargers, which means more money. Anyway, the notch is going nowhere, but this time it is expected to get shorter, not in width, but in height, kinda like this. Also, there was a rumor that Apple is bringing back the Touch ID in the form of an in-display fingerprint scanner, but turns out it's not happening either. You still need to take your mask off to unlock the handset. They could also bring the astrophotography mode to the new iPhones, the one we saw on the Pixel phones to take starry night photos. All in all, the iPhone 13 is gonna be a very iterative upgrade, nothing major is happening and that's why Apple might not even call the new iPhones as iPhone 13, instead they could in fact be called iPhone 12 S. Of course, with that being said, do let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.